Okay, we're going to look at three perimeter problems. These are probably going to be the exact same perimeter problems we did in, in class uh, this coming Monday. So we're going to look at the perimeter of a rectangle is 50 feet. If the length is five more than the width, find the dimensions. So what they want us to do is find what the length and the width is. So we're going to draw ourselves a rectangle. Okay, and it says the length is five feet more than the width. So we can write the length in terms of the width. So the length is five more, so add five to the width. Okay. And I'm going to write my perimeter formula, which is perimeter is equal to two lengths plus two widths. I know that the perimeter is 50. I know that the length is w plus 5 and plus 2w. So I need to do the substitution because I have one equation, so I should only have one variable. If I have more than one variable, then there's not a whole lot I can do. You saw with those literal, literal equations we did in a previous video or we did uh, Wednesday in class, um, you know, we didn't get a number answer. And we want number answers because we want to know what the dimensions are. Okay, so kind of the first thing we do with solving equations, distributed property, combine like terms, then clear any fractions. I don't have any fractions, so that's good for us. And But I'm going to do the distributive property. So 2 times w, 2w, two, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2w. I have like terms of 2w, so then I'm going to combine them together to make 4w. 50 equals 4w plus 10. Subtract 10 from both sides. 40 is equal to 4w. So that's going to tell us that after we divide by 4, that the width is 10. And if the length is 5 more, the length should be 15. So the width is 10 feet, and the length is 15 feet. Okay. So if I add up the length, 15 plus 15, that's 30. Add up the two widths, 10 plus 10, that's 20. 30 plus 20 is 50, so it checked out. Okay. Let's look at another one. We'll speed it up a little bit. All right, so it says the width of a rectangle is 4 less than the length. If the perimeter is 76 feet, find the dimensions. So this time the width is in terms of the length. So we'll go ahead and draw ourselves a rectangle. And the width is in terms of the, of, of the length. So the width is 4 less. So remember less was the backwards one. So we're going to do length minus 4. And then the length is the length. Our perimeter is 2 length plus 2 width. They tell us the perimeter is 76. We don't know what the length is. It's 2L plus 2, and then, the, then the, the width there is length minus 4. And uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and do the distributive property. 76 equals 2L plus 2L minus 8. We're going to combine our like terms. 76 equals 4 lengths minus 8. We'll add 8 to both sides. We'll have 4 lengths is equal to 84. We'll divide by 4, and the length will be 21. And 4 less would be 17, and that's what our width is going to be. If I check this, the 2 width, 17 plus 17 is 34. 21 plus 21, the 2 lengths is uh, 42. 34 plus 42, 76. So it looks good to me. All right, let's do one more. I'm going to speed it up so we don't have to sit here forever. All right, it says the perimeter of a rectangle is 110 feet. If the length is 5 feet less than twice the width. So the length is in terms of the width here. Find the dimensions. So we're going to draw our, our rectangle. And it says the length is 5 feet less. So that's the backwards one. Okay. Twice means times 2. So twice the width would be 2w minus 5 for the less. And w. Perimeter is 2 length 
plus 2w. They tell us the perimeter is 110. The length is 2w minus 5 plus 2w. We're going to go ahead and do the distributive property. So 110 equals 4w minus 10 plus 2w. Combining our like terms, we have 6w minus 10. Adding 10 to both sides, 120 equals 6w. So dividing both sides by 6, w will equal to 20. Okay. Then the length will be 2 times 20, which is 40, minus 5 is 35. So if I add up my two lengths, that's 35 plus 35, that's 70. If I add up my two widths, 20 plus 20, that's 40. 70 plus 40 is 110, so it checks out.